Airmax Aeration plays a vital role to the overall ecosystem of a pond. Airmax Aeration provides circulation, increased oxygen levels, and when sized correctly, eliminates stratification or layered water known as thermoclines. There are many downsides to stratification, such as fish kills, weed and algae growth, and muck buildup. In the next few minutes, you will learn step by step how easy it is to install an Airmax aeration system. A couple of simple decisions have to be made before you start the installation process. First, where is your power source located? Is it by the pond's shore or away from the shore, by a house, barn, or shed? When deciding on a location, pick a place where you will be away from direct contact of a sprinkler head or any place that will receive high traffic by people or equipment. One of the unique benefits of an Airmax aeration system is the fact that power is not needed at the shore. Unlike other aeration devices on the market, Airmax aeration systems can be placed up to a thousand feet away from the pond's shore without any loss in performance, allowing for a lower cost of installation and without the need of a licensed electrician. If power is not available nearby and you choose to place your silent air cabinet away from the pond shore, all that is needed is a shallow trench approximately 8 inches in depth and Airmax Direct Burial Airline sold separately. Airmax Direct Burial Airline is designed to be placed directly underground without the need of a PVC pipe or other protection. If a trench is needed, Airmax highly recommends that you call and have your underground utilities located and marked before you start any digging. The second thing to consider before installation is your diffuser placement. Diffuser placement is very important to the overall effectiveness of your Airmax aeration system. If you are installing only one diffuser, set the diffuser in the largest area of the pond, attempting to place it at the deepest point in the area. If you have multiple diffusers, split your pond into sections and follow the same step in each section. It is a good idea to use a string with a sinker or weight and a buoy or empty plastic container as a marker. This will give you a target when placing your diffuser from a boat or raft. If you are still unsure about the diffuser placement in your pond, visit airmaxeco.com for our free aerial mapping service by an Airmax technical support team member. Now it is time to gather your tools and supplies. You will need the following. A standard flathead screwdriver, shovel, Coast Guard approved life jacket, level, landscape rake, utility razor knife, placement rope, small stone or gravel, a boat or raft. It is always recommended that you wear a life jacket and never attempt to perform this installation alone. You are now ready to place your cabinet. You will need to prep the area where the cabinet is being installed. Simply place the cabinet on the ground where you have chosen to install it. Trace an area about 6 inches wider than the cabinet on all four sides with a shovel or with the use of marking paint. Remove the sod or loose dirt where the cabinet is going to be placed. Fill in with fine stone or gravel, giving the cabinet a solid base and allowing for proper drainage. Remember to always place your cabinet several feet higher than the highest water line of your pond to avoid flooding in the spring or during heavy rains. Once the ground is prepped, place the cabinet and use a small level to make sure the cabinet rests securely on a level surface. With the cabinet set, you're ready to trench to the pond's edge. If your trench is going to be more than several feet away from the shore or in an area that is going to receive traffic from a lawn tractor or other piece of equipment, it is recommended that you use Airmax Direct Burial Airline or place the Easy Set self-weighted airline and a piece of PVC pipe to protect it from crushing in the ground. Be sure that your trench is at least 8 inches in depth. For longer trenches, you may need to connect multiple rolls of Direct Burial Airline together. If you're operating multiple plates, you will need to run a separate airline for each diffuser. Once all the airline is placed in the trench, you will need to connect your airline to the cabinet using the provided connector kits. Backfill a few areas to keep the airline in place. Do not backfill the entire trench at this point. We will come back to this later. Unroll the Easy Set airline, starting at the pond's edge and moving away from the pond. 
Having the airline unrolled will make the installation much easier by removing any twists or possible kinks in the airline. Connect your EasySet airline to the direct burial airline using the provided connector kits. You are now ready to assemble your Air Max diffuser plates. This is very simple and should only take a few minutes per plate. Be sure that the membrane sticks are threaded securely into the manifold and the manifold lines up with the pre-drilled holes. After you have the correct placement, use the included straps to attach the manifold to the plate. After the air lines are connected and the diffusers are assembled, it is time to prepare your system for startup. Plug your compressor and cooling fan into the power outlet inside the cabinet. Then connect the power cord coming from the cabinet to the standard ground fault circuit interrupter, also known as a GFCI outlet. The system should now be running. It is now time to get your boat in the water. One person should be in the boat or raft, while a second person hands him or her one diffuser plate and easy set airline. Connect the diffuser plate to the easy set airline and thread your thin nylon rope under the diffuser's manifold. This will allow for easy placement. Begin to row out to the diffuser placement area while the person on shore guides the airline. Avoid any twists in the airline for this will cause the diffuser to want to flip when it is released from the boat. When you have reached the area where the diffuser is to be placed, use the nylon rope to gently guide the diffuser down to the bottom. This helps ensure the diffuser plate does not flip over and land where you have intended to place it. The diffuser is self-weighted and will require no additional weights to sink. With the system running, you can easily guide the diffuser into place. Once you are comfortable with the diffuser placement, release one end of the nylon rope, pulling the other end in the boat. If your diffuser is sitting correctly, there should be no friction when you pull the rope into the boat. Repeat these steps until all diffuser plates are in position. If you have multiple diffusers, you may see a difference in the amount of bubbles coming from each diffuser. The diffuser in the deepest water or with the longest run may require more pressure to operate than other diffusers. Adjustments to the valves should be made for maximum performance. Once adjustments are made, wait several minutes to see results at the diffuser locations. With the system up and running, check for leaks along the trench, especially where any connections were made. If all is well, backfill. Be sure not to put any large rocks or sharp objects back in your trench. These could cause air leaks in the future. Depending on the condition of your pond and the time of year you are installing your system, you may need to slowly introduce your air max system to your pond. If your pond is severely stratified, you may bring the toxic water from the bottom of your pond to the surface too quickly, causing your pond to turn over, resulting in fish stress or loss. Your pond would be most prone to this turnover effect during the warm summer months. If you notice an odor after turning on your system or see a difference in the water color around the diffuser, your pond is more than likely stratified. For this reason, run your system for half an hour on the first day and double the time each following day until you reach 24 hours. You will notice after this introduction period, the odors will go away and your pond will start its natural cleaning process. Simple maintenance involves regular checking of your air filter. Your air filter should be checked monthly and cleaned or replaced as needed. A clean air filter will greatly increase the life expectancy of your system. For more information on maintenance and troubleshooting, see your owner's manual or see our video series at airmaxeco.com. For even faster results, complete the AirMax ecosystem with PondLogic's all-natural PondClear, MuckAway, EcoBoost, and PondDye. For more information on installing your AirMax aeration system or PondLogic's natural products, contact your local dealer or visit our website at airmaxeco.com.